Hello folks and welcome back to my spring. So yeah, what we've been doing is this morning just got all of our pads organized, so what we've gone and done is neatly stack these up. So we've got 9,000 years of strawberries and 3,000 years respectively of tomatoes and lettuces. So also we've gone and moved the oil over, so we just lift them up and move them over a bit. Put the lever. I gamble. If I do that, there we go. And lower that down. So all I want to do is just move these pallets. Done. So let's go and have a look. So we got 21,000 litres of corn left and 25,000 litres of soybeans. Now, goal for today, as mentioned in the last episode, we need to start planting our crop in that, or at least prepping the field. So, go to the crop calendar, we can plant wheat, barley, canoe, and oats. Uh, we will be planting barley. So first of all, just a recap, plan for the mega field here. Once we get the grass sorted is put potatoes in. And that's going to be next year. And as we head up north, this will be our corn field. So we get corn and get corn. Well, we've done soybeans, so we can't do really soybeans on soybeans. But we can do a mixture of corn then soybeans rotating the years. And 65 and 66 once again will be a green field. And I'm thinking barley, get a bit more yieldage. Environmental scores down. Oof. That's not good. Where is it hitting at the moment? The grass field up there, so. It's just a tillage and weed control. Yeah, I'm not sure on that we control situation. That's that's the thing that's been fun tricking me off there, so But anywho, we'll focus on that later on. But now what we need to do is we've gone and finished the corn harvest. So we got fourteen and a half thousand years here and a full trade out over there. So what I'm going to do is, get this on the road. The right way. There we go. And I want this that to go there. What about if I say go in the BGA? Will you do that? Yes it will. That's good. And then all we have to do is we'll take the corn over from the trailer. Just because it's a bigger load than that. And I really don't trust the worker of safely transporting this. But saying that, I barely trust myself at the best of times. And it helps you go have a lot of six miles an hour as well. There we go. That's going to be trucking along now. At not six miles an hour, hopefully towards the 39. But yeah, okay, I'll slightly off my S1 because we did say that's actually going to get a full wagon and tree load plus a full combine to load. Yeah, about 30,000 years shy there, but. Overtaking. Well, you can do 39 miles an hour. Now we're just drag racing through the town where we are. Overtaking. There we go. And we've somehow won that little drag race there. 
guess the worker was falling speed in the middle of 30 miles an hour. Oops. Uh, what did I say about me not trusting myself? Point proven. And for some reason, I forced the worker to stop there. Whoopsie. Also, I best put the traffic back on. I think I turned it off, did I? Oh yeah, hopefully this time we don't have any bugs, unlike with the first contract on night two. Yeah, that was annoying to deal with. Again, we managed to crash into... <laughs> but anyways, got here in one piece. Just about. Ah, workers blocked Hawaii. It's because of traffic. No, we just decided to ramp up the bloody, like, lamp. Oh, lovely. Oh, anyways, well, we're here almost, so we'll just do ourselves. But yeah, let's see how much we get contract again so so I think it's about four and a half grand nine percent complete that's good news and there we go it's all going in and are we getting that delicious corn uh, no, no. Fair enough. Didn't get the core from the last field, like all of it. Like 27,000 years worth. I'm not sure that can happen. Yeah, I swear we did, but. Anyways, I'm not complaining. Free corn is free corn. That's gonna be used to get oil in that, so. Yeah, I can't really complain on that, can we, really? But now, we need to start doing some farming. And that requires mulching, so we need to get these fields mulched. Because I want to get this turned over today, so. Set that. 4,300 quid. Any more contracts popping up? That ain't bathing for silage now. But saying that, I will attend to some of these contracts at some point. Apologies there, so anyways what I was on about. Yeah, the mulching, so we need to mulch this field. Also we need to get the grass field south sorted. We will mow the north fields today, but I ain't gonna build them today. What I'm gonna do instead is bell the grass on the south, put that into a silo, let that ferment, and then this time next month, when that's converted in silage, we will come and bell grass up here. But yeah, anyways, we'll get the Katrina out and start mulching. It shouldn't take too long. I mean, the best thing to do would be us to mulch the headlands. And then we'll get the work on it. Perhaps we should do spraying. Unless we do it afterwards. I think let's try it for once, actually. heard it works now with the weeds, so... Well, at least on base game, so we'll try it with precision farming. Apparently gives you better yieldage, perhaps, or something. Whether or not that's just a bit of a joke, or what. Preventive spraying. Sort of makes sense, but in a way, also... I think in real life it wouldn't, because you wouldn't know where you... Which, in a way, you wouldn't know where you'd been, actually, wouldn't it? 
be some different other kind of textures and that, but I'm actually not sure on that. I've made a couple on that, but anyways, we will start getting this going, and then we'll get one of the other tractors and start doing the wind rowing. I know we're doing, are we doing hay or silage? It's all about buying the cheap bells in, so we may just do silage and then so I just import a bunch of cheap hay. Yeah, I think we'll do that instead actually. So yeah. Get the silage done. And then we'll see where we stand now. Starting doing the painting now. I think we can still all work on the wind rowing. Yep, on the north section. Well, not north section, but the north part is filled here, so workers doing that. Also, got a worker doing the mulching. And we need to do this, we need to get them done. We need to get them busy, get the workers going. Even if it's a little bit of help, it really matters all the difference. But, anywho, hopefully we should get some decent amount of bells out of this, even with our little mistake over there. It happens at times, so we're not too worried. And yet, we're on 7 grand at the moment. Don't think we'll be below 7 by the time the workers are done, or at least when we're done with the episode, but... Overall, it ain't gonna be nothing to worry about. And also, I've been thinking, if we have a look again... Corn is planted in April, grass starts growing in May, so I'm thinking the north field, where we've just done the old soybean fields, why not put a cheap bit of grass in there, you know? 
put grass in there. And I'll be ready to cut in May because it'll grow in November. We'll grow over the winter and we'll resume growing in March. So I should be ready in March. And the corn. Let's have a look again. So yeah, corn April to May. And I'll be ready for September to November. And if you get ready, let's say in October even. So I say September, even October. Yeah, we could do that. But there's no early harvest in the year apart from poplar and all that stuff. So I thought, heck it, why not? And then again, when we get a cut in March, we could put. Aussie, not Aussie, yeah, Aussie radish, that's it. And then from that, we get an application of fertilizer. I'm not sure if that works with precision, uh, precision farming, but in theory it should. It's a bit up there, it's missed. Alright, fair enough. We may have to do some of ourselves, but again, the workers doing a good job for us, making our life so much easier. I do love to quick bale. It is a lifesaver on this series. Tempt to switch it up a bit, but I may save it for Court Farm. You know, go with like a Heston Bader and that. The Court Farm we're progressing well on that. But yeah, anyway, from the size going to make easy hit a million in February. And also, yeah, a lot of it's going to be paying off the loan in that. But then also, we can now have just a stockpile of bells in that, put in storage. Even, don't have to, you know, separate it now in the silo, just whack them in the um, bell shed. That's where about fermenting all that good stuff. And how many bells have we produced so far? 14 bells, so if I guess 14, perhaps another. What's I done down there as well? Another 14 up here. So I'll say we get about 35 bells in total on this section here. Then again, <coughs> then again we got also cross from the cows. Maybe 20 bells from there at least. Maybe even more than that. Also remember, this is sort of like the low yieldish grass here compared to the north, but we need to get that cut as well. So yeah, actually, if we do that, we can sort of skip through the year and that, and then resume in yeah March, March or April. Well, that's gonna be a, a couple of episodes on the road if we do that, but. Reverse it, not a big fan of that. Oh no, it's just. What's it doing? Is it turning around? Ah, right, turn around is it. Big enough difference between the two areas. Ah, fair enough, that's fine. Not too worried about that. Also, we need to do the wind road over there as well, so. But again, this saves us work now. If we get the bells done now, then when we do the next mowing in November, or the next bathing on, yeah, bathing on Northfields, next month. So we'll try to get the mowing done today if we can. But at the moment, on process and seeding and all that. Also, we need to look about leasing a roller again, so we'll use at least that one. There we go. Two crown play on. And we need to move, move that bloody stump as well. There's a couple of stumps. You know what? Before I forget, we're going to do that as well in this episode. Someone remind me, please. So, we want you. And yeah. These and these. Is it worth it? In my situation? Not really, but if we're ever desperate for cash. We'll just sell some oils. Like if we need something like right now, then yeah, sell a pallet, get ten grand for that. We 
a lot of equipment with these till now. I'm even thinking of the mowing now. Sell the mowers, you know, buy this. The Chrome Big M450. And here, ZR5 as a self propelled bailer. But then again, we've got the quick bailer here, and even though that does it at 11 miles an hour, if we want to slide this, we have to wrap ourselves. You know? But then again, that'd be good for a straw net. But I don't, well, yeah, we ain't gonna do too much straw bells. Obviously, we're gonna do barley and that. On 65 and 66, and that, of course. Is it worth it for that? Maybe leasing it, but definitely not buying it. Well, we can always put a pin in it. Worker B is done, I'm guessing that's you. Yep, all the big workers are done. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll get to the end here. Do those two bits over there. See how they're doing afterwards. But yeah, the like, good thing about with the quit bell, we're using the slight additive, barely using any. Like, currently 40, not 40, 24.73. Compare that to a forge wagon, like the one we're using on Cold Farm. We're using a lot of that. I'm not sure we shouldn't get any of this bit here because there's still bits of grass. That needs wind growing. Oh well. Large enough pick up so we get most of this up. But yeah, so if we have a look. So yep, yeah, mulching's done up there. That's mulch, that's mulch, mulch, mulched. Yeah, it's just a grass field here, so. Unless we. No, we can't do mulching now. Perhaps if we mow those, we mulch them afterwards. Go over that with the mulcher, see if that helps with the yield bonus. And then I'm trying to think. Uh, And if we look at weeds, yep, the weeds are gone. So yeah, I'm thinking, yeah, do that. Not sure what's what's in one three six. Is that potatoes? No sugar beets. Huh. Ah. And what's in one five one? Oh, that's growing. So. If night two pops up, we won't do that since we've already got the crop from that field. So really, all that's left is one five seven and one three eight, which are corn and sunflower. If they pop up, we'll do those. Won't say no to more oil. That's for sure. So yeah, what we need to do now is finish off the wind rowing. And then start mowing the north fields as well. And the seeding, yeah. I think we'll do the seeding next, get that done as well. So, we're gonna have to detach this. Finish off the wind road, so we'll wind road this. Bit over there, bit over there, and then buy the uh, cow pens. I think if we just wind road first, that wouldn't take us too long. And they almost do the seed in.
and there we go. So what we need to do first of all is slightly extend the zone out. That's just because of covering paracos in there, but again, do worry. Yeah, I mean slight more of an interest we have to pay on this loan, but I think it'll be here for a month, so I'm not too worried about that. But anywho, we've got the plant not the planter, the cedar on. Ah, this thing as well, if we're gonna do corn, we're gonna need a planter, right? And uh, we don't have one. But not to worry, I'm sure we can figure something out, so actually so to look at something. Our cedar, what's that, nine meters? Decently sized, so perhaps we could look for a bare minimum six meter planter. What's that, the power hour one? No, it ain't. But what about if we do something bigger? Maybe, just maybe, but again, what think about navigation for the lanes and that, that's going to be the big thing for us, so thinking that maybe you're right, we're using that on court farms, but yeah, that looks way too big. Whilst in comparison to that, it's eight meters, yeah, decent. I wonder if it's priced decently if that pops up in the used market. I mean, you're sure maybe you'll be able to go for this. How much would it be to these? 1200 plus maybe a couple of hours, so overall, no more than 2500, I would say. So, you know what? We'll go with that when we do the corn and that. But obviously, that's going to be planted until what? Yeah, what do you say, April, May time? So, again, a ways away. And who knows, I've got some plans in the work. Because yeah, I'll be sort of thinking. Just with... Why not expand? So... I'm thinking... Purchasing a lot of these fields over here, like these grass fields here. So for example, plot 50. These... As well as these values, it's like... Some look at the prices, 65. 1000 per hectare, 64, 66. Obviously, that includes a farm, but if you get that feel as well, maybe, just maybe. I think more like close to home, so let's say, let's do the quick math here 268, 83, that's what, 270 plus. 370, 360, 462, 562, 662, 652, 640-ish. See, yeah, perhaps we're looking at the ballpark of three quarters of a million. Obviously not including like these ones here, but again, that's an option for us. A lot of it depends on where we stand. Once we get sold the barley and all that, it's not the barley. <laughs> Once we sell what's it jig the wood chips and that silage in the winter and that as well. And obviously we're gonna be consuming a lot of seed just based on the soil type. You know what that I'm alright with. And we've mulched the field, so really direct drilling. Should be the method for us, I think. I think personally it should do work. Should do work on what's come out, should work. But you just don't know sometimes. Also, we're getting an application of fertilizer and positive. I'm not over applying fertilizer or anything. I'm sure this would be. Yes, look at that. Nitrogen is perfect and pH is good, so that pH is the line. Not sure if we can do anything about that now since we're already starting to seed, but 
thing to keep an eye out for. Getting the perfect application of fertilizer. And um, we'll see when it starts growing, do we need to reapply fertilizer? Because I completely forgot what we did last time. Don't regularly use precision farming, but I think I may do more. I think I may include it in core farming app. Use on that series, but. But we need to figure out the bug with the whole weeding situation in the grass. I think if you applied Aussie Radish. Heck it, may even do preventive spraying, that's what we should have done on the other fields. But again with that, the problem with that was Yeah, the working at night. The only real downside at that moment is just doing the seeding at a high seed rate of 280 seeds per cubic meter. I'm definitely going to feel that, but it's one of those things, it's based on the soil and that. I can't help it, I can't do anything about it. It says, yeah, increased nitrogen level. I'm going to ask for the nitrogen that is flops to seeding. But you notice we may get a change in the seed application rate. But yeah, so we need to put barley in this field and that field. Put the winter barley in. And then we'll head up north and put grass in. So I think, again, the best way to get this all done is in the time lapse. Yeah, I'll go with a bit of a change off a lot of little time lapses rather than do massive jump cuts to where we get things done off camera. I want to put a lot of it on camera where I can. Even if that means a few time lapses. And who knows, that may improve the quality of the videos and especially the runtime. Okay, so we'll find out if this all works out. But yeah, this shouldn't take us too long, no more than half an hour or so overall. If I had to guess, maybe it's a bit longer than that. Whatever we do do now, we'll do it in the next episode where we do the moment in that. Anyways, get us done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
And there we go, we are almost done with all the seeding. Almost gone down a bit, that's because, as you may have noticed, we've decided to put some duties on the John Deere, just to help with the work on the hill and that with the seeder and that. Because we're getting bogged down to like 4 or 3 miles an hour. Must thing, it's, as you see on the bottom right, it's, it's decently maintained in that, we didn't maintain it, so it's just a horsepower thing at the end of the day with the hill and that and the terrain. But I'm thinking, yeah, 16 grand for a set of duties was worth it. Maybe, perhaps, but yeah, I think so. Obviously, going down is not an issue. As long as we can do like five or six up the hill here, then you know what? I'll be happy with that. But yeah, so we've got everything seeded. This is the last field I'll be seeded. In the next episode, what we'll do is start to roll in, get all these fields rolled, and then also we'll start mowing the grass over there. Obviously, with that, that's our, our real priority at the moment, getting that cut. Got an entire day to get it done, so I think I've got to finish off the bathing at least. We need to do that in this episode, get that finished off. Yeah, let's see how fast we can go up the hill here, so on this. Yeah, five miles an hour. Still bogging now, was more than three. Maybe a front weight, maybe a benefit, but yeah, not too sure on that. But anywho, we've got the John, not John Deere, the Deutz Far 7 Series. We've got the roller here, so we'll place that here. And we've already removed one stump from the middle of these two fill sections over there. But we'll keep it for the day, and I will go around and find any stumps that needs cutting down. And in terms of like wind rowing and all that, I think the worker over here is done, right? Yep, worker's done, wind rowing. Yeah, I'll see a couple of bits here and there, but on the overall part is actually a good job done there at least. But yeah, we'll take this back over because I'm just double check. The one area by the shed. Make sure we've got that wind road. Oh no, no, it's this bit here actually, I mean. So, yep, yeah, we forgot to wind road that bit. But that's just only one small bit. There it goes, put that back up. Oh, apologies there, a little phone call, but anyways, so. Got the wind road here, we're gonna get all this wind road. And yeah, boating, then it grew one stage, and then trying to take care of everything is a bit difficult. But yeah, we're making little mistakes here, so yeah, you want to go here and try to get everything wind road. So sort of just see the different colour and texture of what's grass there, I think. It's hard to get a good angle of it. But yeah, I think a little loop around, get the painting done, and then, yeah, I think that's where we'll leave it today.
there we go. We've got that of the bells. So that's all the being done down here. There are some patches where I've missed an out to win the road, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. We'll focus on that when we get the next cut in November. But, anywho, we'll put these in storage where they can ferment. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. So that is, what, 45? 46 bells we've got. Not too bad. Do I go in there? To move this over. But yeah, also money's gone back to where it was because, funny enough, as soon as I just started the time maps, which didn't end up being saved, well, was saved, but not included in recording, was within 10 seconds of starting, game crashed, so no idea what happened there. Was it because of a worker or something? I don't know. And we're almost done with the seed in here. Again, it's just worker doing little bits here and there. Seems us doing it. But yeah, no, I'm gonna put those duties back on this and that. So now we're back down. Well, not back down. Back up a bit or so. But yeah, so next time what we'll do is we'll start mowing the north fields of the grass. And that's where we get the majority of our bells, is just because the yield is just, it's different enough to create a significant impact in the amount of bells we get. And of course there's still that one bell up there which we forgot to collect. But yeah, now that's like pretty much one big field there, so got rid of the hedges, got rid of the fences. Alright, it's gone up to four miles an hour now. It was like dancing between four and four three mainly touching four here and there. I'm guessing those duties don't make a difference at all. Thought it wouldn't have made a difference, but well, I guess not. But yeah also what we're doing in the next episode is we'll start selling some of the well, no, wood oil was we'll skipped to November as well. During that episode I think and yeah, I'll sell a wheel. Have a quick look and set, see how much we've got. Just to get this patch here done. But yeah, we're just going to make a lot of money from that oil. It was a gamble. Plus, in short term financial worry. At the end of it, it was worth it. There we go. So yes, let's go over to the BGA. So we've got two more pallets, so one soybean and one corn. And overall we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve, twenty-four. So currently twenty-six pallets. Each seven for ten grand each for a thousand litres, so yeah, that's what, 260 grand or so. And we're still in October, we're gonna easily double that because yeah, we've still got plenty of corn and soybeans. And if we get the contract for the sunflower and that popping up. Which we don't. Is that still ready to harvest or have they been done? No, nah, they're still ready. Still time to harvest them. If we get a contract for them, then by all means we'll do them. Get a bit of extra sunflower oil coming in. And again, that's if the contract is to sell point. If it ain't, then if it's somewhere to like the garage or something, then it's not really worth transfer it over here because it's a 2 to 1 ratio like with the canoe contract we did oh uh, where was it by the sawmill yeah 156 
Uh, we have like barely a thousand years left over, so, so it wasn't worth putting into. I uh, will say, yeah, it wasn't worth putting it into the production chain. But, anyways, that's where I'll leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please, from a guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're going to say. But for now, this is me from our Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.